The true working end are these plates of armor that have fused together. It forms almost a battle axe. When Ken took a closer look at the fossil cast, he made an amazing new discovery. We're very fortunate with this. Something that we've never seen before is the damage that occurred on this tail club where the bone had broken off. And that could only have happened if the tail club had hit something really hard. It hit with such force that the bone just popped off here. It only didn't just do it once, but it did it twice, which suggests then that the animal had struck something really hard both directions. This provides us with the best evidence that indeed this was used as a weapon. If this is a weapon, what kind of damage could it inflict? For example, what would it do to a velociraptor? Back in London, our special effects team set about building a replica tail with the same strength as the original bone. Next, we needed to know exactly how much force an ankylosaur would be able to put behind its tail swing. While we were busy building our scale model in the UK, Ken was busy in the US doing his maths. Here in front of me, I have the tail that we used in our analysis. We have all these structures on the side and along the bottom. This is where muscles attach, and so we could determine